So Muslims, if we want to change this society, if we want to change the direction of this society, if we want to affect this society, we have to first reform ourselves. So don't point at the Yahudi. Don't point at the Nasara. Don't point at Bush and don't point at Blair and don't point at Howard and don't point at this one and that one because when you point there's three fingers pointing back at you blame yourself because when you sincerely blame yourself you will change yourself the prophet Yunus alayhi salam when those people threw him out the boat into the water they want him to die didn't they? They want him to die. They want him to drown. Or they want the big fish to swallow him. They throw him in the boat. They did that. They conspired against him and they threw him in the boat. Huh? They threw him out. But when they threw him out, he didn't say, Oh, why you do that? You guys is no good. You are criminals. And while he's almost drowning, he's blaming them. No. When they threw him out the boat, and immediately Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the hood. Huh? Swallow him. Immediately, the whale came and swallowed him. You think about this if you want to. And you ask one of these people who's involved in uh, uh, animal science, what they call this. Uh, huh? No. Oceanography or uh, biology or uh, uh, marine biology. Ask them about the whale and the stomach of the whale they will tell you that if someone is swallowed by the whale first of all he has no air because the whale himself is a mammal he must come up for air himself is right so if the whale has no air he have to come up for air he's a mammal if you're swallowed by the whale you will suffocate that's the first thing the second thing the whale is a mammal and like every other mammal the way he digests his food is that there is a very intense amount of acid inside his stomach and this acid inside the whale is 12 times the power of the acid inside of our stomach so the person who is swallowed or the thing that is swallowed by the whale first it will suffocate and after that it will become dissolved by the acid so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused the prophet Yunus to be thrown out the boat and, and the, the water did not drown him because the, the whale came immediately, swallowed him. When he find himself inside the belly of the whale, did he blame the whale? Did he blame the people? Did he curse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? No, he said, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntum min al-dalimeen. He said, Oh Allah, there is no God except you. And verily, I am one of the people who is oppressive to himself. And when he made that dua, it was the right formula. That's what Allah wanted his servant to say. So Allah, he ordered that whale to swim directly towards the shore. And before the acid in his stomach was able to cause any harm, to Yunus alayhi salam, that while he swam to the shore and he spit up on the shore like you and I, we vomit. That while he vomit Yunus onto the shore and the, 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 the slime from his stomach covered Yunus alayhi salam until he healed and then it became dry in the sunlight until it become over him like a vegetable until it healed him and then after that it turned into powder and he gets up and he's full and he's okay how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved his servant you and I we have been thrown into this well and the acid is burning us every day and burning our children every day 
and we are, burnt, we, are, we are blaming Howard and Coward and Blair and Snap and the Bush in the Bush. We're blaming everyone except ourselves. Oh, Muslims, blame yourselves. Say, La ilaha illa anta, subhanaka inni kutu min al-dalimeen. Then you will start to see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has tested the Anbiya with trials like our trials. And He sent Wahi to reform His Anbiya. He didn't send Wahi to reform His Anbiya from committing sins because a, a, a prophet, he did not commit sins, but he reformed their behavior towards Allah. He gave them what? Tawakkal. He gave them confidence. He gave them words. He gave them mu'jiza. He gave them wisdom. He showed them how to speak, how to act, how to deal, how to rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how to go and talk, not to have fear, to have fear upon Allah and to look at the creatures as only creatures. He reformed them in this way. And he reforms you and I in another way. And through reforming the Anbiya in that way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sent them to reform the whole world. And so now we are Muslims as a result of the reformation that Allah sent to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he sent to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the surahs, Dhuha and Inshara, those two surahs, you should read the tafsir of those two surahs. Those two surahs were sent to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to reform him. How? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَالدُّحَا وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا سَجَا مَا وَدَّعَكَ رَبُّكَ وَمَا قَلَا وَلَا سَوْفَ and he sent the Prophet وسلم, and told him, right after that he sent him the surah, Alam nashrah laka sadrak, wa wadha'na anka wizrak. He sent those surahs to the Prophet وسلم, because of what? To give him faith, tawakkal, wake him up, let him know who is his Rabb. Don't worry about the conditions. Don't worry about what they say. Did I not find you in such and such a condition? I lift you up. I protected you. I gave you. I clothed you. I did everything for you. So, Allah is reforming the Prophet Did the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell the Prophet He's reforming the Prophet So if Allah, He sent Wahi to reform the Prophet reform his spirit, prepare him for the responsibility, then what He gave to the Prophet the Quran and the Sunnah, He gave it to you and me to